G'day, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we're going to work on video number two for the microphone preamp for the uh, pedestal mic for radio. So uh, without further ado, I'll introduce the microphone here. Um, I've grabbed out of the junk, just out of my junk box I've had laying around. Now with that, I have uh, run into a bit of a problem about um, impedance matching the microphone to the circuit. Now, um, for those that need to know, the impedance matching is the way you transfer the maximum amount of power from a, one circuit into another circuit. Um, so you need to match your input impedance to your uh, output impedance, and that way you get maximum voltage and um, current transfer, which equals uh, the maximum power from one circuit to another. Um, from an AC circuit to another AC circuit. So just grabbing a, any old microphone off the shelf and plugging into any old circuit off the shelf, um, you may have uh, mismatches in your impedance. So one of the benefits of building your own electronics um, and, and understanding how the electronics works is you can get the impedance balance through your circuits uh, so you can maximize um, things like microphone current transfer into an amplifier. Um, yeah, so we'll get into it today. I'll, I'll keep this introduction short. Um, we've got our microphone there set up. I've got a test experiment set up. We're using the mini lab, the power supply and the oscilloscope today. Um, and we will generate a signal um, out of the mini lab into the microphone and then we'll use a couple of different resistors across the output of the microphone, measure the uh, voltage coming out um, and use that resistance and voltage to compare into a uh, equation and compare them and, and work out the, uh, the impedance of the output of that microphone. Now I've selected one point around 1.3 kilohertz around there, uh, 1.3, 1.4, I think the scope showed 1.4 when I tested the setup there before. Um, that's the center frequency from my 300 hertz to my 3 kilohertz. Um, that's where that's where I want to um, uh, do the impedance test. Is, is dead center of the frequency uh, that that I'll be using um, uh, that I'll be using this microphone for. So uh, yeah. So just to recap, impedance matching video: how to impedance match a, a how to measure the impedance of a microphone, an unknown microphone, um, and just simple a simple test where you measure the two voltages of two different loads on that microphone um, and inject a signal into the microphone, measure the output, um, throw it through a mathematics, uh, mathematical equation, um, let math do the hard work, and it gives you the uh, a resistance output, an impedance, a Z um, output, uh, of that microphone. So let's get into it. So the first piece of test equipment I have set up is the uh, Mini Lab um, BWD, one of my favorite pieces. So I've just got the uh, function generator here generating a, uh, I think it's 1.4 kilohertz signal. So I've got it by one kilohertz and this is set to around 1.4. Um, I've got the offset set to zero so there's no DC bias uh, on the signal and this is the amplitude here so we'll be increasing that to uh, to a nominal level in order to uh, undertake our measurements and just got down here set to sine wave um, on the output this is the 0 to 5 volts output this is the 0 to 10 so I've ch chosen I have made the choice to use 0 to 5 volts output that runs across here uh, through this blue lead and that'll go into this op amp which is just set to uh, have the input signal go into the ne negative uh, side of the op amp and the positive is just grounded and that goes across to the output there and off to the speaker um, and this is uh, the gain control uh, sorry that's set to zero volts to uh, have no bias DC bias on the output and we'll use this for the volume control increase the gain via there and we've just got the um, grounded from the function generator across to the uh, op amp there um, yeah not much more to say about that that's that one done 
Um, we'll just scoot over here. We've got the power supply set up. So electric microphones require some power input. So we've got the uh, ground and a positive set to 10 point, that should be 10.1, which is the power rail of the uh, circuit we worked on last week. I made a few adjustments, but um, I'll make another video showing those adjustments when we get back to that circuit. Um, and then we've just got the um, oscilloscope It's got the oscilloscope there to measure the AC waveforms in order to uh, um, in order to get the voltages. Uh, we'll use a ohms meter off the multimeter just to get the resistance of each resistor, and then use this for the voltages. Um, so we've just got uh, what have I got it set to? 50 millivolts. We've got the cursors on the horizontal cursors on to measure the the waveform. Uh, just using channel one. Channel 1 set to AC, by 10s on the probe, uh, just so that uh, the probes don't add too much impedance into the system. Um, just pretty simple setup there. Measuring volts peak to peak down here. 50 millivolts uh, centered. Uh, trigger levels just above the, just put the trigger above the uh, zero there. So it's triggering on sort of the trigger quickly. Edge trigger, channel one uh, on the downslope, uh, sweeps normal. So I'll just uh, we'll just plug this in. I'll just plug in the uh, op amp, the function generator, and you'll see there by adjusting the input into the speaker, you adjust the output into the scope. So the scope is measuring the microphone there. So let's just have a look at the uh, let's just have a look at the microphone setup and the speaker setup. So here we have the microphone and the speaker is directly pointed at the microphone. Um, we have this circuit over here. Uh, so that's the output of the microphone. Um, that's the scope connected there. Uh, we have power coming in. This is our resistor here, bringing the power from the power supply. So it comes from the power supply through the red cable into a 2.2K resistor, then around and into the positive, into the positive side of the microphone. And that, that just powers the electric mic. And the other side is grounded through that white cable that goes back up there so that goes off to the power supply to give it a grounding point so the what do we what else do we need to have a look at here okay those two yellow leads you see here is where we're going to put our load resistor so we'll measure our load resistor with the multimeter to get our resistance there's our two load resistors there we'll plug them into the uh plug them into here set the nominal audio out of the speaker into the microphone and then measure the voltage with the oscilloscope in order to get the difference in those two loads and then we'll put it through an equation uh, that gives us the um, gives us the uh, impedance okay so uh, I'll uh, do up a quick schematic schematic um, to have a look at and uh, we'll go from there Okay, so we're just, uh, we're, we're, this is where we're at with the, um, with the uh, regulator circuit. So I've made some changes to this regulator circuit after doing the simulations. We've now changed that to an 11 volt. And this resistor here is now 500 ohms. So we need the resistor, but we don't need. So we got 500 ohms here. Okay. Um, so we now have 10.1 volts uh, regulated. So we'll just get rid of this here. So that's just a bit of an update. 
um, on that. We may be, uh, next project, um, I'm going to do a feedback regulator. Um, so we'll move on to what we're doing today, focus on today. So I'll just show you the test we got set up. So we've got a speaker here. And we've got a microphone here. And on the speaker, we are using the uh, BWD Mini Lab. And we're using the function generator to generate a 1.3K signal, approximately. And that goes into the Mini Lab's amplifier, comes out to the positive side of the speaker. We then have a power supply here, DC power supply, set to 10.1 volts, which is the same as our regulator circuit here. Positive side here, and we have a resistor across here, which is 2.2k ohms to power the electric microphone. We then have just draw our ground points like this. So we have those three sides grounded uh, at a common point. Um, we then are going to come off of here and here. And we'll call this R test, which will equal R1 and R2. Uh, not added together, it's just uh, we will be testing two resistors um, across RT there. And we will get the voltage from here to here as well. The AC voltage. So we'll have R1 equals some voltage, R2, sorry, equals some resistance in ohms, and then voltage across R1 and voltage across R2. And this is all done at a frequency, a preset frequency and amplitude. So frequency equals 1.35 prox. And the amplitude will maintain the same. Equals, uh, we'll just, we'll set a nominal value. So by having these two fixed and getting the variance off there and putting it through the equation, uh, we can have, um, we get the impedance as an answer. So we'll just have a look at that equation now. So the equation uh, to work out the impedance from the two measurements um, is R1 minus R1 times V1 over V2 and we divide that by V1 over V2 minus R1 over R2 and that should give us the um, Z output so Z out equals uh, we'll just make that ZO alright so uh, we'll move on from the notepad so I'm just gonna run through the uh, testing of the resistors um, I have chosen a Let's double check my values. A uh, 1.474K, 1.5K resistor and a 823, 822 ohm resistor. So just going to turn the signal generator on. We're going to get an annoying buzzing sound, which you'll see it on the scope come up. And I'll mute the sound.
Let's have a quick look and punch those figures in on the notebook. Okay, uh, yep, voltage here, 4.8 volt, millivolts, 6.4 millivolts, frequency and amplitude don't, uh, aren't in the equation, so let's just uh, run through this quickly and see what we get, so Z out equals, let's work out, grab a calculator, okay, Let's work out V1 divided by V2 first. 0 0.48 divided by 0. zero point seven five zero. So R1 and R2, what have we got there? So 0 0.5576 will do. So our R1 is 822. So, let's, um, what do we got here? 822 times 0 0.75. So we've got 616.5. So, 8.22 minus 616.5 so we've got 205.5 divided by 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5576 Zero point one nine two four. So two zero five point five divided by zero point one nine two four. One thousand and sixty eight oh nine ohms. 0.09 ohms, 3, 1, 2, 3, yep, that's right. So we're looking at a impedance of 1k ohms on that microphone. So we'll shoot across to the computer now, and I'll just show you a um, spreadsheet. Um, we'll punch the equation into the spreadsheet, and I'll show you how you can do it uh, without the use of the scientific calculator. Okay, so just to the computer now. Um, let's... Uh, have a look at the uh, we'll punch the equation in first that we want actually let's set up our variables so uh, we'll just call this um, so we'll just call this uh, input MP calculator All right, we'll set up our variables. So we have uh, one. 
we have a V1, we have R2, and we have V2. Alright, and then we have Z out. There we go, Z out. So let's put in our first value of R1, which was 0 0.0048. That's, that was our voltage, sorry, 0 0.0048. And our resistance was 822 ohms. So R2 is, ohmage is 1474, as measured on the multimeter. And the voltage is 0.0064. So look here, what do we got? Equals. So we want the top half of the equation first, R1, which is A4. A4 minus. is A4 times V1 over V2. So V1 over V2 is A5 divided by A8. A5 divided by A8. Alright. Um, uh, so A4 minus Close that off. Alright, so that's the top half of our equation. And the bottom half of the equation is divided by, so that's all divided by V1 over V2, which is A5 over A8. divided by A8 and that is then minus oh, you need to jump out of those brackets and minus the minus minus the R1 R2 so R1 is A4 A4 Divided by divided by a seven. All right, so I just need to that's top half, and that's the bottom half. Let's run that. Ah, B. Let's try B. Our readings are in B. Uh, B, 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 B. Still no, a no joy. There we go. Not sure. Let's copy that. Okay. Well, let's not. Uh Let's not um, dwell on that other spreadsheet for some unknown reason. It doesn't want to go, but for the sake of typing a few characters here.
All right, so I um, might uh, finish the video here. What I, um, what do I want to point out? There's not really much I want to point out. It's just a uh, easy way to get an approximate value of the input impedance, uh, output impedance, slash then becomes the input impedance of your amplifier. So the output impedance of your microphone then becomes the input impedance of your amplifier. So um, knowing that this is approximately 1k ohms, this microphone is approximately 1k ohms, um, will help in tra the maximum transfer of power from microphone to circuit. Yeah, the next circuit we'll be looking at, uh, next video, we'll be looking at measuring the input impedance of the radio we're going to connect this microphone to. Um, so stay tuned. We will also need to know from that radio the amount of millivolts input um, that will help us set the gain um, of our amplifier. So we need to know the input in impedance of the radio audio circuit and we need to know the um, uh, the millivolts required if you like this video like the content um, please like share and subscribe uh, and I'll do my best to keep going forth and coming up with other projects uh, different tests that you may have not seen before and um, that helps you on your electronics journey and yeah look forward to hearing your comments on the video and we will talk to you later thank you